We got a lot going. I gotta hurry up. Thanks to Derek, Roger, and Rod Robin. We got everything greased up and ready to go. It's been a wild morning this morning. A oh, wild morning. Let me get y'all set up. We're gonna work these trees around this area here. Around this little shed. We're trying not to mash the shed. If we mash Big John's shed, we'll all be in trouble. So, so here we go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll, I'll fatten you up and triple hinge you on this side. So I'll give you all the fight I can give you. And I'm gonna have to push on the right one. Yeah. We'll do the normal peel around to the upper side. And... I just hope the sun bitch ain't hollow. <laughs> well, I don't like that big sun. Yeah. This right here. Yeah. Well, if I triple hinge it oh, and I mean, it starts I, I to move. I mean, that's a lot of times that's the indication it's going to yeah. be hollow in there. Well, you know if I start I into it and you get to taking it, just fucking go. I'll be safe. You know how I took this tree like that for I Yep, I know it. You told me the other day, bore in. Stick your bore up yep. and down, though. Yeah. That way you're only taking a quarter inch of wood top. Yeah. Yeah. That was a new one on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this puppy on the ground. Okay. All right, everybody. The thing about this video is I lose my schniz in this video. Um, let me cover a little bit been a crazy morning been a crazy freaking job everything's crazy and I got this property line trees and some high liability trees and stuff that I'm worried about that is what I'm worried about problem is is I blowed a hose on Brutus yesterday evening parked it like all right last night we did some stuff with Big John uh, that's that's up and coming i'll show you big john here soon enough but going at it burn the candle on both ends and everything going crazy and everything and my real problem i'm worried about is these liability trees problem is brutus crapped out below the level on line and i made the line this morning after we got the mill running i made the line this morning i didn't put it together but i was using a jones fitting and uh Steve had to give me some Jones fittings. Uh, he's doing his best, but he had to give me some Jones fittings instead of our normal Eaton fittings. And uh, our crimper don't match up, and I didn't know the proper crimp to crimp it at, and neither did Steve. Steve's like, well, do the best you can. And I didn't crimp it enough. The hose blew apart, and everything went to Hades. So, let's tear into this. Just an FYI, Robin knows what he's doing. But I feel like when I was stressed before, when I've done this more than once, multiple times, uh, if somebody would have just reminded me right before I pushed, it would have been a lot better off for me. But uh, I'd get into fighting a tree and forget to let go. And next thing you know, here, here, just dragging the dindin down with it.
them working. I'll cut some of these smaller trees. All right, and I'll brew some of these and I'll come up here and clean this up. Son of a bitch. God. Son of a bitch! So freaked out right now. I, it, we've knocked ourselves out of two hours worth of production. On top of what we've already screwed around on. Watch me drop this right on this daggone barn. Sorry, John, I'm trying to get my wits about me, but I'm having a, a panic attack. So I go to Wayne Supply. Walker, Wayne Walker, Texas, I don't know who they are now. Uh, Cat, Boyd, Boyd Walker, Wayne, I don't know. I'll tell you what, some of these companies, I don't know what the deal is with them. Sign changes names all the time. But I'll tell you one thing they can't change, and that's a hydraulic hose, because they didn't have my fitting. It was a 12, well, right on a daggone building. It was a 12 to 16. Now, careful now, I hate to... The wood bees are about to carry this barn off. I ain't never seen so many wood bees in all my life. But they, uh... They, uh... Screwed around for a half hour. And then after screwing around for a half hour, they gonna come out then and tell me, well... Oh, yeah, okay, thank you, Roger. I'm gonna try to get this M off here. Get some wood moving. And we'll come back and do the slowdown special later. Oh, what a mess. What a freaking stinking, freaking stinking mess. Freaking and stinking, that's one thing. Ha! Ah! There's anything we know around here, and that's freaking and stinking. That's gonna be hollow as a gourd. Yeah, but I still can't get through it. Freaking and stinking. That's one thing we know around here. Yeah. Take a bath once a month, I'll tell you what. <laughs> so anyways, then I had to go to the Parker store. Come on, Brutus, sit down right. And they didn't have what they needed either. Dang, on it. I'm on a freaking... I'm assuming... I'm on the south side, so I'm assuming that thing's an Enon south. But I ain't gonna set my watch by it. So they didn't have what they needed. Dang, on. Of course, they was bought out. That store was bought out by Motion Industries, which is pretty cool. But, uh, they didn't have one in the, oh, that's son of a bucket, it's safe as it could be. All right, Dad, look out down below, him. We're coming at you. Die, tree. Boom, it said, shakalaka. So, we made it out of half inch number eight. Hose. So we got where a three-quarter hose used to be on this leveling system. Now we got a half. I don't know. I might like it. I don't know. It'd be a little more flexible, half wood. Now 
Now, which way is that? Uh, Enon. So, we'll finally get the pipeline rolling again, and I'll be back in a bit when we get to the liability specials. Well, I tell you what, when I get pissed off, I can cut some timber. We've done all this in just a few looky split. I don't know if I'll have a cutter left soon. I'm freaking going for broke. Uh, I'm gonna try to get over and cut this big old red oak by the barn over the arm. I can't let my saw build up. I ain't got the patience for it, so I'm just ripping through all kinds of stuff. Walnut included. myself calm down but I am freaking mad I'm getting ready to drop that tree on my truck if I ain't careful we got enough forward lean yeah we can fight it it's leaning from my truck and it's hollow I better not Kind of a bucking bunch of freaking aggravating crap. What do we got here? Got a freaking walnut tree here in the middle of the yard. Yeah, come on. All right, dog bark at me. I hate failure. Man, I hate failure.
and gas.
key to the hand cut days. If you're a hand cutter, main thing you gotta remember, don't be a pussy. That's your number one goal of the day. You can do it perfect, or you can do it sloppy, or you can do it, you try to do it perfect, but if you've used it and it's clear cut and sloppy, or whatever, just don't be a pussy. That's the main thing. And keep your wits about you. Because once you lose your wits or you get real tired, that's when you're gonna get, I should say hurt, but killed. That's when you get killed. My head is going boom, 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 boom. If I had a fuse, even if it was a 60 amper, I bet I blowed that son of a buck about three hours ago. What happened is it's a small job and we only moved one cutter here. She's short on trucks and everything else, so we're figuring we can do it. Well, our cutters are a little antiquated. Good rigs, but they're a little antiquated, and uh, they do some pretty brutal cutting. So you need to have a little safety net there. Usually, I like to have Derek on that other cutter, at least on the job site, because me and him, according to the uh, how I'll be back. Well, we got all these down. Let me get Patty out of the way before I get a flat tire in this. I've been running these. I forgot what Derek's got me on. He said I'm not got good enough tires in this thing. So he's giving me some 14 ply, I think. I got 10 ply on it. This thing looks like a mobile pin cushion. I got more plugs in these tires in this thing. Steer tires, back tires, drive tires. You name it, I got plugs in it. So I got new tires coming in for this thing. Hodgey Dodge Joe, what do you say, Hodgey Dodge? Ah, oh, Joe's saying it's about time you got to doing something, Tater. I'm telling you, old Tater, daughter, is having him a rough one. Boy, oh boy, my head's a pounding. <whistles> now, the thing about failure is, is it takes failure to learn. So you're gonna have to fail. But that don't mean you has to like it. And I hate failure. I hate me some failure. Man, I hate failure. Absolutely drives me up the wall, failure does. Let me get another dat. Let me get drunk back up on that dude. That'd help me. I'll bet get a little bit of that too in there. Oh, oh Birdie Bird can get some wood on the ground when he gets pissed. I don't know if he'd hold up. That didn't take a half hour. <laughs> One good fit lasted about a half hour. Now I can go over the other side of the field and act normal. Oh. <clears throat> All right, Broody, I'll be nice now. I'll play nice. Broody said, Dad, go on, Dad. What's the matter? Well, I'm going to tell you what's the matter. I had a hydraulic hose put me through the ringer this morning, amongst other things. That gone. So anyway, back to the story. You got to, in our application, we got to have two cutters on the job site. They don't have a full-time job. Derek's got CDLs, I got CDLs. Derek drops the kid or I drops the kid. We do whatever. But get the wood on the ground first. That's key. Get the wood on the ground. Uh, according to flow, uh, the goal, the book, the goal. You get the goal. If y'all do anything in flow, get the goal. Go for flow. <laughs> so anyways, the last item in an assembly line needs to be your slopes. So according to that, Mama needs to be the slowest machine on the job site, and the job site needs to be adjusted to where that boom is always filled up. She'll never miss an opportunity. Even if the skitters miss a little bit of an opportunity, ain't a big deal. As long as she's stuffed full, got wood set in front of her at all times, she does her however she wants to, but she needs to always have wood sitting there. When she feels like throwing a stick on the, on the, when she feels like throwing a stick on the table, that time a bucket stick needs to be sitting there. And when you're running one cutter, we're short one guy. I got my buddy coming. 
Oh, he's gonna be awesome too. I, I got a lot, I got a good feeling about this. But when you're short a person, and then Derek Cutter ain't here, and Derek can't get on a cutter, man, it's, cause Prunus can do it when he's aggravated and he's not broke down. But when he's just going through the motions and things are just normal, it, 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 it's hard for Brutus to keep uh, keep everybody going. It just it just uh, there ain't enough fruity brute to get it up to get it on. So.